All right, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Love this music. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We are playing on a Nintendo Switch, of course. Uh, this is the act actually this is the first Pikmin game that I have ever played. So, uh, you know, let's get into it. A new story, of course. Let's go. Well, yeah, let's go hard. Why not? It shouldn't be too hard. Twenty XX. And it's got voice acting. <laughs> space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. Oh yeah. The planet's name? Kopai. Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's they eat all their food. Have all but exhausted their food supply. Oh no, they're running out. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Ain't that crazy? Instead of figuring out the food problem, <laughs> they send out these uh, sparrows to look for food. On different planets. Just as they're about to give up. It's our planet. The planet that uh, Olimar had, had fallen into twice by now. They mobilized to investigate the planet with PNF 404. And uh, it's Earth. That's what they call PNF 404. It's Earth. Look at those slingshots. They use the, their, the uh, planet's gravitational pull to uh, slingshot themselves further. Something always goes wrong. Oh yeah. This planet's not easy to, to land in. Excuse me. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. <laughs> Exploration Day 1, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. I thought it was actually 8.44. That would have been crazy. <laughs> I just checked the time. Ugh. What happened? This is Charlie, right? He should have a deeper voice. There he is. Little man. Oh. He's the uh, captain of the ship. Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat. Do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? He's stranded. Hell yeah. Look at him. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Of course. There's a lot of tutorial in this uh, version. That's uh... What is this? Over here? Huh? What in the... What? There are more of them! Whoa! So strange! A group of them! I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. They're coming at me! They're coming closer. Let's whistle. Maybe my whistle will scare them off. I'm surrounded! Maybe I should throw them. Nice. Look at them go right to work. They don't appear to be hostile. Uh, so let's... Let me get this straight. I can round these up by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. Way to give a tutorial, Charlie. 
You got it. Come on, guys. There's some more over here. And some more over here. I think I've pretty much got this, uh, this version memorized. Um, because, you know, I, I've played it so many times, actually. I really like it. I like the story, too. Yeet! Awesome. It's good to be back. Although I was only gone for like a couple of days. <laughs> also, this version uh, is a lot cooler. Because uh, you can actually whistle and they won't stop immediately. Although it does become a problem later. Like, uh, you see, they kind of stop. But if you whistle twice, then, then they'll stop fully. There we go. We can't go over here. This is too hard to break. Better look for another route. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's weird. Oops. Come on. We don't have to. There was no need for that. <laughs> Let's go. These guys sure are dedicated. Let's keep going. <laughs> nice. Enemies! Get them! Wow, that's bright. The light is chasing those things away. Oh, yeah. Although, I think they were supposed to die. I don't know why they didn't. <laughs> the light kills them. What's this? Run! Oh no, he didn't run. Why didn't he run? Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Two minutes after Alf's crash site. Oh, he landed in water. Uh. Oh, little Alf. I'd say he's the hero of this of this story, even though the captain is, you know, kind of, uh... He, well, he's the captain, you know? <laughs> but I consider Alf the main, the main character. It's a miracle! I'm alive and somehow unharmed! Oh. Get up, buddy. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As a ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Alright, let's explore this strange new planet. It's a red big man. They both got scared of each other. What was that? Nice. As you can see, the onion have evolved. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in the branch? Is there anything I can do? Nice. Oh, he said it too. Look at that onion. Yeah. They have like tendril like uh, appendages. I was hoping that was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing... Yeah. Of course. Nice. All right, no uh, Pikmin around, right? There's one extra Pikmin around, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, you can just... Uh... Oh, guys, you can keep working. Look at them. I feel like this game is way more fleshed out than the others. 
Although it is a lot easier than the others too, so you know, it's like there's drawbacks and whatnot. My coat pad! Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. It was supposed to mirror the uh, the Wii U gamepad. That's what it looks like. You're supposed to use it like like it was the gamepad. And actually, on the Wii U gamepad, excuse me, I keep saying that a lot. <laughs> um, you can actually see the map and everything. So there's like a little drawback to uh, having it on the Switch that you don't have that extra screen. But it's not too crazy. Nice. There's a hint if you don't know how to play either. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I wish I could have stopped him. Come on. Wonderful. The bridge is uh, complete. I didn't actually read what it said. Map data loading. Great. It still works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from the Copite engineer. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Yeah. Where's the Drake? Aha! Uh -huh. The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'll, I'd best head in that direction. <laughs> Alright, cool. But first, we need to grow our Pikmin. Now we can start exploring with the help of the Copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera. Yeah, okay, got it. Oh yeah, we can take photos. Hang on, wait, wait. How do we, uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, it'll only take... Okay, got it. Stay there, boys. Uh, how do we do it again? Here we go. <laughs> it's a little zoomed in. There we go. Uh, and how do we take the... Okay, got it. There we go. Oh, it actually saves in and it made us. All right. All right, cool. Nope, not over there. Is that red thing food? Not for you. Nice. Come on, guys. <coughs> we know exactly what this does. More seats for us. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Now we pluck. Red Pikmin. Ah, I, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Of course. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Let's go. Oh my god, my mouth is so dry. I need some water. Come on. There we go. I know there's some enemies around here. Also, I, wait, wait, hang on. Sorry, guys. I think, uh... I think they downgraded from last time. I don't know if, uh... No, they can't fight. Whoops. Sorry. I spoiled something. <laughs> you can click X to uh, send them like crazy. Yeah, you can't like punch like you can before. No. Although I thought I thought we could. I thought I saw someone like do it. No more punching for the for the normal guys. Here we go. Come on. All right. I can. Oops. Lovely. Oh, my 
cup of waters are way over there. Give me one second, guys. I just got a drink. All right. That is much better. Charge! And they pretty much do everything on their own. It's awesome, really. Oh, what's this? It looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to really read it. Pikminology number one. The Pikmin is like a nest for the Pik. Oh, the onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Yeah, there's a bunch of the, that, like a bunch of exploration notes. Uh, it's really cool. Useful. I mean, well, useless information, but uh, you know, it's cool to have like. Uh, their thoughts written down. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote that data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Who knows? We'll find out soon enough, maybe. Also, you can hide in bushes. It's pretty cool. Let's get going. Let's get to the SS Drake. Ooh, another one. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. Yeah, these mushrooms. Let's, let, sorry, let's read, uh, what did this say? This one. Using the radar, wait, what? Change the radar's orientation. Okay, cool. In the options menu, got it. Yeah, because, uh, it's a little confusing. It, the, uh, the map changes based on what you're, how you're facing. See, see? So like later on, it, it'll, it'll get like that. Well, they'll have bigger maps, and it'll be really confusing. Also, it tells you exactly where to go, so it makes it like super easy. What is this? Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life. I already did that. Um, they changed the uh, the bramble wall to a, a dirt wall. It's the same thing. It's just, I guess it looks better. My crew could learn a lot from the teamwork of these guys. Yeah. I hope the Drake is okay. Whoa. There it is. The SS Drake. The copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Whoa. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved! It got cut off. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far Brittany away is. Wow, I messed that up. <laughs> but at the, very, at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Are you starving too? What's that strange sound? Oh, it wasn't him. <laughs> the sun is setting, which could mean that the nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off this planet's surface for now. No need for everyone to die, right? Woo! Cool. Let's get out of here. Blast off. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, you know. That's it for day one. Wow, so pretty. I forgot how good that looked. Um, off we go into the, uh, orbit. Low orbit, right? This is our food supply. 
Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. That's the uh, the time limit in this game. It's pretty it's pretty cool because if you suck at the game, you won't have food to play. But uh, starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Yeah, the whole point of this game is to, to collect fruit and turn it into food. New Horizons first, clear the first. Yeah, okay, got it. There's just uh, review the replay. Oh yeah, you can actually uh, do that. It's pretty. You can actually see. Uh, what you did for the day like if you wanted to go back because you can go back in days in this version and uh, you can kind of see like uh, what you did like here I could be like oh uh, I stood around for a couple of minutes maybe next time I could just go straight to here you know it's cool uh, well that does it for day one right Whoops. Day one still. Okay. Well, I messed up, guys. Uh, day one. Uh, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alright, that's everything now, guys. Goodbye.